Hi everyone, my name is Jean. My real name is Sean Lam Nguyen. If you don't really know my real name, so I always go by Jean. Uh, well, you know, before I get involved in student leadership, I want to talk about me when I first come to see the Central. I was just a guy who was an exchange student from Vietnam and I went to South Carolina before coming to Seattle. So, you know, I just want to practice English and want to go to, want to finish college as soon as possible <coughs> because it saved me a lot, of, a lot of money if I go to study abroad. And so, Seattle Central is my first choice because I can skip, kind of skip my senior year and go straight to community college to start my associate degree. Um, so when I first came to Seattle, what I did actually is just go to class, study, go home, and during weekends just hanging out with a bunch of Vietnamese friends. And I didn't do anything special for that first year when I was in Seattle. I was like, uh, really? And at the end of the year, I was sitting myself in the park and think again, like, what did I do last this last year at Seattle? I was like, I actually didn't do anything. I go to class, that's just a regular routine, I have to go to class anyway, but I actually didn't do anything special. You know, like, my parents pay a lot of money for me to go to, to come to America to study, and I didn't do anything. So it feels like, at least I should get a job or something. Uh, make new friends, don't hang out with a bunch of Vietnamese friends because I have friends already in my country. And, you know, then one of my friends, he told me, student leadership is hiring for six war, so if you are interested, just apply for, to, be, to become a student leader. And at that moment, I was like, okay, maybe this is my opportunity to step out of my comfort, comfort zone, to step out of my comfort zone and do something for my year in Seattle. So I, I, I read over the description for the student leadership board, and I feel like since my English is getting worse because I talk with them a lot when I'm in America, so I feel like court is a perfect board for me to improve my public speaking skill and maybe I, my English my pronunciation will get better when I talk a lot, you know. So I just apply for court and this is how I become and now I can stand in front of you guys and just do give out a presentation. So that's the best thing I think that's still leadership that have given me. So let's see any other question. Uh, so for the long term goal I actually didn't have any long-term goal before applying for a student leadership, but in be becoming a student leader actually helped me a lot on my JavaScript and helped me, my personality grow also. I have more self-confidence right now when like, compared to who I was during the past. I can do anything I like, I can talk to anyone, that's even though they are strangers, I can just make up a new conversation with a new guy yeah, I just met at the fair and just chatting for 15 minutes, you know. Because I couldn't do that before. I would, I don't think I would have done that ever if I didn't get involved in student leadership. So, and um, one of the best moments of me actually was the dinner last week that we attended uh, because the advice actually give our certificate for us to prove that we actually did something in our year and our advisor talk a little bit about me and even though Gina she wasn't there I didn't expect that I gonna see your video on YouTube mm -hmm. and yeah, that, that was, I was so emotional when I see your video because that's what I see you when I first come to court, remember? Like, I will have a, an art, 
connect with everyone as a guy just running through the middle and we are team C O R T remember uh, I was that was fun, I love it. And this video is kinda the same thing. And Gina you mentioned me like in the beginning of the video, you show me that. Uh, I have grow a lot. So I feel like this is the best thing. I don't know. This is the best video I have ever seen on YouTube. And, well,